Okay. The Australorps know that Clay is in the barn. So they're all standing at the door thinking they're going to get uh, fed. <laughs> Clay. They're... Nick and his wife, and then they moved over there because they saw me standing here and they thought maybe that something different was going on. But they're kind of hanging around that door thinking he's going to bring something out to them. These guys are smart. So they're listening. See, they hear him talking in there, and he's listening to him. What do you think, Mick? You think that he's going to bring something out to you and your wife? Okay. Now, these guys in here, which is, this is what this video is going to be about. Now, let's do a little comparison first. This is an Australorp rooster. He's a nice, good size. He's... A good boy there, he's going to go in he's hoping to see his dad. They're all gliding up to get a snack. Okay, so that's the Australorp. Now these are Jersey Giant Chips. And uh, they're about as big as our Bantams. So Clay's going to put them in with the Bantams. But they'll get much bigger than them. These guys are pretty shy right now. Yeah, I fed them some, gave them some water a little bit ago, but. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it's a warm day, so everybody gets water and food several times a day. These guys are getting ready to get moved, so their stuff is like going out and then jumped and all that. <coughs> so you think you'll like living with your cousins, the bantams? Until you get about <coughs> ten times as big as they are. So at this point, we think we have five hens and two roosters. And Jersey Giants take about 18 months to grow to full size. The male will be about 13 pounds when he's fully grown, and the female will be 10 pounds. These are just approximates. And I think around the 1800s, they were kind of indented, kind of like for a small turkey kind of idea, big chicken, big dinner, but they do take a long time to mature, and they're a rare breed. There's only like 10,000 of them in the world right now, so about 5,000, I think, in America. So just to give you a little update on the Jersey Giants. You want me to water that and you can film the birdies, or you want me to keep filming? Oh, you can keep filming. I'm just running the warmer water out of the hose and the sun got the hose warm. You can't give the chickens warm water. I figured I'd fill up the warmer water. He sees something. I think he wonder if he's seeing a cat or something over there. We had a few cats, which is a good reason why you should uh, <laughs> enclose your critters because there's been some cats hanging around here looking for lunch. Yeah, those guys are crabbing. There must be a cat around here. The dog's crabbing. Hear them? They see something. And the dog's all excited. 
And I smelled the skunk the other night outside. Oh, I've been smelling them left and right going to work this week. So. They ran all their babies. Is that what they're doing right now? And I was very excited because Clay usually spots all the wildlife. But yesterday, what did I spot, dear? Three fox. Five red fox. I don't know only three. Oh, it was only three red fox. See? Three red fox. And I was so excited because they looked so cool. At first I thought they were cats. I thought, what's that? And then Clay told me, those are foxes. So we do have that type of thing out here. But not that close to us. We haven't had any foxes in our yard, have we? Are you going to shut them all in? What's that? Are you going to shut the, these guys in? Are going to shut them in? No, shut them in so they can't go outside? No. They, they just won't go out anyway. Three days for the that, that's what I thought. They're used to being inside. Even if they did get outside, they'd be okay because there's food and water and they can't get well, out. There's some dog carrying things in there. They can get out of the rain if they had to. Yeah. So they'd be okay, but... I just want to make sure that I'm not sharing them while they're in the barn. Right. If they end up, I'll have to do it tomorrow when I go to the So these are pretty big chicks, aren't they? okay that they're in here but this isn't the best place that we like our animals because we like to really socialize them and when they're in here they're okay but I have to spend a lot of time out here just really socialize them in the doorway and it just is better because everyone's always see the door open and they know it's food but they'll feel a lot more calmer when they see us more and not like a surprise open the door and that's all they see for like five minutes Yes. You'll be okay. No, you can't have all that. Now you're cleaning up. You'll have all your stuff in the new place. We have to take that stuff out so you don't. So we need five minutes at most. All right, let me get that water from outside. up your pen a little bit. Gotta take out this old spot. thought he'd be a little bit faster, but he had to top, stop and uh, get that water a little bit cooler and give the other chicks some water. They'll be all right. So I'm going to be for a minute. Only for a minute. We always have food and water in front of our animals. Um, it just, you know, we haven't had any problems with that.
they're not really wasteful. And everybody looks good and healthy. Their eyes are clear. They all eat well and drink well. And I'm oh good. Is that the last thing you got to do is give them water and then move these guys over? Yeah, I got to give these guys water. This will be for those guys too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, for these guys too? Oh, yeah, God. Okay, that's good. Indoors, and then these guys can get to the water too. Okay. So I make sure everybody gets plenty of water. Yeah. Oh, I know. Well, I was over with the Bantams earlier today, and the other guys all had water. Probably the, um, everybody probably needs to be refreshed a little bit, even though they all have just uh, top them all off, you know what I mean? For right. Yeah, especially those wine dots because those ducks are over there. Yeah. So, because the ducks will jump in the water and make a big old mess. They definitely got to get some Yeah. But fortunately, the ducks don't like to go inside. Well, that's where the water is going to go. I know. <laughs> the ducks don't like to go. So they kind of, you know, can separate their water. They're outside water for the ducks. The chickens are going inside. Right. Well, that's pretty much what happens. Because the ducks will jump in the water, but they get the water inside. Ducks have no class. <laughs> Clay. What's that? Ducks have no class. <laughs> just tease them. That's why I got out of them years ago. Oh, I like the ducks. It's just that you just have to make sure that they have a lot of water over there always. So that... Yeah, but they make all the water dirty. Well, yeah, if they can, they will. So you gotta, so you gotta like have one outside, one inside. Water yeah. The chickens aren't that lazy. They'll go inside to get a drink. You guys are going to be go to the big school today with the big kids. <laughs> Clay. You're all hiding behind the feeder. Hey, can you put the little babies out here, the little baby quail? No, they still got a little heat ball for the heat. Oh, okay. Boy, boy, those little babies are noisy, aren't they? In the middle of the night, we hear them. It doesn't really bother us. But this little bunch was noisier than some of the other bunches we've had before, I felt. No, you can just stay inside. I know it probably feels great to get, you know, to be moving out, but you have to wait. This guy's pretty friendly if it's a rooster. Right, guys. Okay, listen, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in with the phantoms. What's that all about? I, I thought maybe they saw a cat. No. Well, they had a cow. I'm gonna go in here with them. Boy, Mick don't let nothing go by him. Boy, one of his ladies. They has a thing. You don't have to worry. We aren't catching you. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, he's a good rooster, that's for sure. So I'm going to go in here with these guys. And they're going to get some new friends. Hopefully they won't pick on them too bad, but the joke will be on them because these Jersey Giants outgrow them.
guys are going to have some friends. Oh, look at these guys are going great. Oh, look at him. He's got his little comb already. Right now, not, not out here every day for some reason. They just grow like leaves. So pretty. Oh. So pretty birdies. Pretty birds. Pretty birds. Hello, birdies. You getting some nice cold water? That tastes so good, come on. It's a nice warm day and a nice cool drink. You like my shoes? chicken starts to bleed, they will attack that spot until the chicken is oh, dead. You're bringing them all in at once. Oh, cool. Now see, these guys are as big as those That's what I wanted. chicks already. Okay, don't grab too much. The cousins are here. The relatives. Check and see if it's got a. Most of them look like hens. Oh, that's good. I won't be able to tell because you know how I am. I won't be able to tell you what they are for a little bit. Well, let's see. Yeah, they're about the same size, aren't they? <laughs> Some of them are a little bigger. Look, look. <laughs> Here's the diet that's going to be in for this hilarious. Girls, you gotta get away from the door because I can't go out with you standing there. Well, look at there you go. There's the size comparison. There's two of them. One's over there. Oh, the other one went. He's over there. That's the one I pointed out. Hmm. Who knows? He's at the doorway. Yeah. Now if he goes All up. right, let's not chase him out. Let's okay. Hey, look at these guys. All right, are we done in here? I'm done in here. I okay, guys, enjoy. I want to put the giants in last. Okay, just let them all get to be friends. They'll be fine. First day will be off mischief, but that'll be it. Yep. It'll be all fun and games until they get bigger than the other guys. Yeah. <laughs> They'll probably leave them alone, though, being raised with them. Well, maybe not. That's a little slippery right there from water yeah, now. I gotta collect the eggs. Okay. And here's the bucket system. Well, he's collecting eggs. It's about time to make some bok choy. Oh my goodness. Didn't realize this was coming up so quick. We like making stuff with this too. This is delicious. Okay, let's walk to the other side for a second here. How's the dog? He's gotta have a scoop. I think he might. <laughs> and some fresh water. He's got some, but just top him off. So uh, he's over there playing with the water. I'm going to go over here and take a peek at some of these guys out here. So let's see what's going on. Well, looks like Jersey Giants are already outside. That'll be all right, because they'll just follow the path. It didn't take him long to decide to come outside. It's like, heck with this. I'm going outside with the big kids. Oh, God. He'll be all right, though. If we get worried, we can always put him in physically. 
Oh, they found something. Hi, bug. It's good. I think it's... No, he's a... Okay, so there's the Jersey Giant. The other guys are checking them out. These guys found something. If I can see my ducks, I'll walk over this way. There's my chickens. My ducks are probably hiding somewhere. These guys are all just hanging out with the other chickens. So my ducks are somewhere, but I don't see them. Okay, guys. I got the message. <laughs> and it's really not that late, so we'll probably have to water everybody again just because it's really a warm day. So. Which doesn't matter to me, it feels nice to come outside and it's not that time consuming. They'll probably be okay, but my attitude is if you're outside, just give them a sip of water. Okay, I want to check my morning glories over here. I haven't checked them for that. Earlier today, I was looking at the strawberries and a bird was inside of them. Clay goes, I wonder why we didn't get any strawberries. So these things are starting to come up and grow a little bit. So these I started from seed this year. And I'll walk over to the strawberries, show you what's going on over here. But, uh, we put the strawberries in the stump, and, um, they noticed we weren't getting any ripe ones, and the birds were eating them all. So, they are having a good time. I mean, that bird was, like, right inside there. So, he found a nice, delicious lunch. And we were waiting for them, and the birds found them. So, I don't know. We'll see how this goes kind of like a cherry tree. Clay goes, I don't want a cherry tree because all the birds are just gathered. So we'll see. And I guess he's over there working, so I'm going to walk over to my mulberry tree. It's so warm. Oh. When your lawn's not mowed, it makes everything just look so crazy. Okay, these are these pots of plants that I put in here. Coming along. We'll see what happens. These are those cheapo seeds. So we'll see what happens with them. And the bees, of course the bees, poppies are gone, peonies are probably in full bloom right now, this place is so nice, he always brings me in flowers, the bees are coming in and out, doing their work, hopefully we'll get a queen soon, the gentleman called us today, and let's see, these should have some fruit on them soon too. So we'll wait and see what happens there. And I guess I'll walk in front of the hive. Guys, stay over there. <laughs> stay over there, guys. You ladies. Okay. Here's our peach tree. Yeah. Not a lot of activity here yet. And 
our nut trees. I'm happy with the grapes. I think the grapes are gonna do okay. I'm really happy with the grapes. So we'll have some good grapes in here and they're pretty good too. So there's my yard, it's all grassy. I do think, and maybe it's because I have the bees, that I have a little bit more flower kind of clover things this year, but it's probably because I have the bees I'm thinking about it. Where's Mr. Kitty? He's hanging out. Oh yeah, he's in the house. Is he in the house? He was in the house. I think he came back up again. That's right. Yep, Mr. Kitty's out here, I forgot. He was in the house, but he's out here right now, hanging in the shade. And looks like somehow a garbage bag blew over here and Mr. Kitty found it. So that's gonna be a, looks like I gotta clean that mess up, Mr. Kitty, don't play with that. He's decided to take a nap. So I gotta get that. Yes, Peggy, I got a chicken. What are you doing, Dal? Uh oh. Hey, listen, the Jersey Giants outside. Who's stuck? Giant. Out here? Over here. Uh oh. Oh. They chased it into the corner. You guys are mean. Swim. It's the hay. Should you throw him back inside? Uh, he came out. I probably ought to because they're not going to gain water otherwise. Yeah, just pick him up and... As a matter of fact, I want to take this cardboard up because if those chickens can get through this wire, then uh, anymore. Oh, they can't? What? They can't? If they can't get through this wire, then I can just release all these guys into the big chickens. We gonna let the big chickens run back and forth? Might as well. Cause they're pretty gentle. Huh? Let the big chickens run back and forth. Well, they're... they may not be gentle too, though. Little game chickens, but they weren't. They weren't really mean to any of the turkeys. So. No, they weren't. Grown. They so he's in the corner. You want to go get him? Yeah, he's pretty hot. I get these eggs here Just, too. Do you want to set them? I, I would, but I have the camera. Let's set them back down. Sorry, love. That's all right. I'd rather have it get inside where the water is. Than... That's yeah. why I didn't want to release them with everybody in the barn because right. I wanted to make sure everybody was fed and watered. Yeah, these guys aren't being nice. We'll come back out later and check out too. Did well, you take care? Get, we'll get picked up a little bit. Did you take care of the dog? Yes. Okay. I always take care of my boy. All right, where would he go? He's behind over there. See him behind the. Yeah. Probably have to get the net. Put the big ones in now and that will shake up the fence so they'll leave the other ones alone maybe? Uh, no, I want them to okay. gradually get used to it. Okay, that's fine. Because it won't be long, they have to gradually get used to the other ones of their own kind. True. Bully. <laughs> Come outside. I might even put some of that orange stuff over the top. Is that like a giant? No. 